Well, the Education Minister says the ministry is working around the clock to fill those vacant positions. He says with more than 100 teachers resigning, that's left a big gap in the system. But they're making some progress. Most of those uh, were in New Providence. Um, and so we were able to fill those with substitute teachers. Uh, we've had, of course, now to recruit additional teachers um, in order to fill those on a permanent basis, which we're now in the process of doing. Those teachers that were from the family islands were really our first priority because it's difficult for us to find uh, substitute teachers in many of the family islands, particularly those ones that are isolated to some extent. And so those are our first priority to make sure those positions were filled. Um, in New Providence and Grand Bahama, we don't really have the same challenge because we have a number of either retired um, um, teachers or teachers who we know are available um, to, to work for uh, in our term, uh, a month or two months, in the various disciplines. And so um, the schools have been aware of uh, the challenge with regard to that. Uh, we have identified those teachers and the positions that they held, um, and so they have moved to fill those positions. Again, you know, you're talking about, you know, about 4,000 teachers, and so although it might seem like a lot when you talk about um, 100, there's 170 uh, schools spread throughout the country, and so, um, you know, in some schools it might be one, some schools might be none, some schools might be three. Um, and so, um, you know, you're talking about one to two percent of the, probably two percent of the total um, teacher population.